We got renters coming August 1st. We're trying to enjoy this for the month of July before we get out of here because we need some of this money to recoup on all the renovations. All right, guys, before we jump into this video, I'm just going to let you know this video was sponsored by TP-Link, which you're about to learn more about. So let's jump right in. Where are you going? I'm going to go get us stuff for lunch. Okay. Be okay. safe out there. All right, guys, our house is a mess because we're constantly doing work, but we're trying to wrap this up. By July 1st, we've been working on it since February. But we've got a lot of updates going. First and foremost is my newest upgrade, which is Wi-Fi. I've been working down here trying to escape all the sounds up there. There's drilling, there's chainsaw, and there's sanding, there's, I don't know, all this stuff. But it's a lot, and it's loud, and I'm trying to zoom down here in the comfort of my own home. And the latest upgrade we've done is right here, maybe one of the most important. It's great to be living, but right now we're all working from home. We're all Zooming a ton, and we're FaceTiming a ton with our son Preston, as you know. We're trying to keep updated with my parents in Canada because they can't get down here. So having uninterrupted Wi-Fi and high quality network is super important. That's why we just upgraded to this right here, which is the Archer AX73 from TP-Link. It's got the latest AX6 Wi-Fi technology, which helps broadband for most of your devices. It streams 8K, which is important for, boom, this guy, our Samsung 84 inch. We don't hook this thing up to a cable box. All we do is stream directly from the Archer to this guy, so we don't want anything interrupted. We're gonna be able to stream without any buffering, any delay, so that's important. Also, this comes with an app called Tether. You download the Tether app in the App Store. Super simple, it tells you exactly how to set it up. I've wired it through the wall back in this crazy storage area. We have our router right up there. So I wired it back down through the wall up around those wires and to that. So it's kind of a seamless integration and that one's not that nice to look at. So we kind of keep it hidden thanks to our provider. But this one quite stylish and cool and it looks good here on the setup and is definitely better suited not having a ton of other wires around it so it also has home shield on it which is only a couple bucks a month you can set your child privacy settings you can scan for threats all sorts of things to keep your network safe as you're probably sharing some good info your financials your banking whatever you don't want it to become an issue so that's important so we upgraded to that the archer ax73 i'm pretty pumped about it i'm gonna leave a link down here for it Check it out if you can. It's a big value add to your home, work, gaming, streaming, whatever you got going on, life. Obviously, we're all on our devices. This can actually hook up over 150 devices this thing, not slow down one bit. So we got all our Sonos attached to it. We got our TV attached to it. We have all our smart appliances attached to it. Our fridge has cameras in it, everything. All our Nest, our Google whatever we got. That's the situation. This is my home office for the day because let's see what else is going on out there. But this thing is important because without it, I wouldn't be uploading this content for you guys to see. I need something super fast, super strong, super reliable to upload this content. It's a lot of footage each week that has to go up, get edited, come back and upload to you guys for YouTube. So hopefully you appreciate it. Check that thing out if you can, Archer AX73, but let's see what else is going on up here. <laughs> as we do a little home tour upgrade update. Right now we're just painting the rest of the ceiling. As you can see, kind of get this all dialed in. We got renters coming August 1st. We're trying to enjoy this for the month of July before we get out of here, but we rented it for August and September um, to some very nice people who hopefully will enjoy it because we need some of this money to recoup on all the renovations. My man. So we're putting this in, getting this all dialed. We just covered up this, which is the drain for the bathtub upstairs. Still got to cover this up. And this is all the plumbing. And next year we're going to fill all these in, which will insulate, which will definitely help with sound upstairs as well. Let's see what's going on with the vanity, the lighting, I'm trying to get all this sorted. As you can see, these guys cover everything to dust proof, which is very much appreciated. Because I'm a little crazy. Like it's weird if it just floats over here, yeah, right? Yeah, it would go a little, yeah. Should probably be like here. Yeah, within the vanity yeah. lines. Yep. These are our lights we're putting in. It's not easy. So, and he's got to clear out grouting and bricks to run seamless wires. Uh, Might not be my biggest fans. Because you run it, he wants to run that box over to the other box. So don't cut the wire. 
Well, you could cut it, doesn't matter. It, it's, it, it'll just be spliced, you know? Mm -hmm. And this has a light on here too, huh? Mm hmm Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I think that's right. So they just had to countersink a circle in the back there, right? Yeah. And then this center line is where- Is the center, we, we yeah. We gotta follow that pretty- Yeah. You know, because that should be the up. center of. It's not the center. It's the, not. The edge of this is lined up with the edge, or else you would only have about. Yeah, this is the center, right? Yeah. Yeah. But it's not the center of the space between here and the mirror. It's it's pulled over, so the edge of this lines up with the edge of the. Got you. Getting it done. So the lights will go in, and this mirror will go in, which I'm excited about. And hopefully, we'll be wrapping this thing up soon. And oh. Let me show you these closet updates really quickly. Check out that lighting. So as you open the door, boom, lights come on. Which is so nice, all fired by these little balls. All right, well, these guys get that done. It would be nice. I'm gonna show you our other update we're doing right now, which is, well, who's this guy? Surprise. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Gabe, if you don't know him, it's the one doing all the deals. So Hannah and I can keep out here making content. We're taking a couple more trees down. We're gonna plant a bunch of ferns in here, all sorts of things around our yurt and just kind of make this a very luxurious moment. We also planted some new trees as we take them down. We put some new ones in. We put this Japanese maple in here, which is lovely little cedar tree in the back, all this Andromeda in the back, just kind of lining, trying to hide our deer fence. Um, I'm about to plant this one, which is super nice. It's gonna be a very nice little tree. The flowering willow should be really nice and that will grow to be one of these three. Super excited about that. We're gonna do a hammock moment here. Everything is really coming together. And this is getting a lot more sunlight, so there's a lot of greenery. And my next project is to build a raised garden bed right here. I'm gonna get after that next week, I think, I hope. Good amount of sunlight back here. We got some chives here, we got some thyme, we got some rosemary, some mint, and some strawberries, which look pretty good, but someone keeps coming to eat them all. As you can see, it's a little tooth bite out of this thing. Um, so someone is out here robbing us of our berries. So we gotta get this elevated off the ground and then we can really thrive. So gonna make kind of a one and a half foot deep bed, put soil in there, replant this stuff, repurpose it because it's still good and these herbs will keep growing. But then we can put tomatoes, lettuces, all sorts of stuff that we can harvest and keep alive. And this stuff is coming together and I don't know if I showed you the front of the house and the landscaping we've done. We don't have a deer fence in the front, so more often than not, the Vespa sprung a bit of a leak. Talk about that again soon. But uh, the deer fence kind of ends there. So I had to put up this other little fence to frame in these hydrangeas. They'll be coming in white very soon. And then we kind of planted all this programming, which kind of blends down to here. We got to put some grass seed in here as soon as everyone's done working because the trucks keep coming over it. And then I still need to build a door for the pool house, which I'm working on. But this is looking good. This is a dogwood. It's going to get white and grow probably next year because kind of been in shock since it got moved and planted. Yeah, this is this little deer fence I put in, which you can't really see too much of, and is holding up pretty well, but keeping the deer out. So those are the home updates. Again, super happy with how this place is coming out. And we're really starting to turn a new leaf, and I'm excited about it. Little Preston's gonna have a nice home. Soon we can clean all this up, because it's starting to look like a bit of a messy, I don't even know. I was gonna say paradise, but it's definitely not that. So I just like to keep it in the basement for now. Hi. Hey, say hi to everybody. So anyway, I'm gonna shut this door while these guys keep working and get back to my little home office setup for the day where the Wi-Fi is cranking. Again, thanks to that Archer AX73. Check it out when you can. It's worth it. And if you wanna find me, I'll be right here. Just cranking out content, emails, life as we know it, until the little man himself wakes up, and then we'll be back to hanging with him. Gotta get your time in. Never felt better being a parent. I mean, 
I've never been a parent, so I couldn't feel better or worse, but loving it so much. Love sharing my life with this little guy and everything we know and all our knowledge and hopefully making him a great person. But for now, stay tuned to these vlogs. I'll be uploading them, streaming everything, keeping the content flowing, trying to do two of these a week. You guys have been super receptive and responsive and positive. So I appreciate all of you. Thanks for being with me. Talk soon. Thank you.